Hi Cancer Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 16th to the 31st, 2019. That's 2019. Finance, money, and career reading for you. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting out. And I like to start each reading with an attitude of gratitude. So I want to thank you so much, whether you're new or old to this channel for tuning in and stopping by. It's an absolute pleasure having you here. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information is in the description box below. It also has the links to all the cards that I use there. So let's see now, Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. For August 16th to the 31st, 2019, that's 2019, has in store for you for your money and your career. August 16th to the 31st, 2019, money and career, Cancer. August 16th to the 31st, 2019, money and career, Cancer. August 16th to the 31st, 2019, money and career, Cancer. August 16th to the 31st, 2019, money and career, cancer. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Oh, fantastic. That's where the cards fell. So that's where spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything, Cancer, oh, you're moving forward, especially mentally. You're kind of leaving an old place behind. You're very much being guided by the angels here. You are a water sign energy. This is going to be an excellent time for you to learn. So you're represented by the cups, which you have the page of cups right here representing you in the minor arcana, cups in the minor arcana. You're represented by the chariot card in the major arcana. There's worry, doubt, and fear. Will you be able to move forward? You know, you're overthinking a situation. You have to step back a little bit, kind of just calm down, kind of let the angels take the wheel. It's going to be very beneficial for you. Then as above, so below, as you believe it, so it becomes. So if you focus way too much on worry, you're just going to get more things to worry about, which is going to be counterintuitive, counterproductive to where it is that you want to be and how it is that you want to move forward. Take a leap of faith. There's something, there's a change that you want. There's something that you want to do. You have to go for it. You really, really do. There's an ending right here. There's an ending that's going to actually bring you into your power, bring you into a place that you completely want to be. You do not have to justify yourself to anybody else. You really don't. The seven of wands is saying, don't justify yourself. Protect your prosperity when it comes to money, because we have here now, there is a sense here of needing, of feeling like you need to protect your job and needing to protect your money. Now, I'm not saying that anything is going to happen within your job. You are doing a shift of consciousness. You are doing a shift of what's important to you. And you might feel that your coworkers really aren't respecting that the way that they should be. And you might feel as if people are taking advantage of you during this shift. So make sure that you're not wasting all your money protecting things, protecting, you know, fighting for what it is that you want, where you don't have to fight for it at all. Divinity is giving it to you. You are moving forward in your power. I mean, you have the magician and the high priestess. You're really coming into your own and you're setting yourself free. So that is awesome. You're going to have a tendency to focus on the wrong things. And this isn't to get you down. Okay. This is just a warning that during the last half of August, you're going to be looking at the ways you hadn't succeeded, the ways you hadn't you know, move forward the ways you're, you're not living your best life. That's what you're going to be saying to yourself. The fact of the matter is you really are doing a great job and you have to stop being so, so hard on yourself because it's pulling you down and it's making you feel more defensive, which right now isn't what you need at all. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Cancer, August 16th to the 31st, 2019, money and career. Show me clearly, show me clearly. This card right here energy and simplicity. There's going to be a fantastic energy around you. It doesn't have to mean an exuberance of edge energy, though for some of you it might. It might be you can do a million things all at once, but I see more of a sense of a spiritual energy being around you, just a sense of confidence and calm and focus to being where it is that you want to be, where, what it is that you need. And then you're simplifying your life. You're simplifying what it is that you're focusing on, how it is that you want to move forward. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Cancer, August 16th to the 31st, 2019. Money and career, cancer. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Right here, imagination and empowerment. You are empowering yourself 
by embracing your imagination, not saying, oh, I wish and it would be so nice, but embracing the possibilities to set you forward, the possibilities of all that you can accomplish. Because right now, in this line right here with the high priestess, the magician and the fool, this is a fantastic time to start going after what it is that you want, to claim your power, to know your truth, and to let nothing and no one stand in your way. We start here with imagination. Imagination triggers the soul and illuminates the heart. So your soul and your heart are being spoken to, embrace it. You might be seeing things slightly different than other people. That's actually could be for some of you what's making you feel as if you have to guard yourself, as if you have to protect yourself. Now you're finding that no, you're just inspired. It's like you don't have to guard your ideas. You don't have to protect yourself. Know that you're inspired. Share that inspiration with others if you feel like it. Also, okay, when I said share the ideas with other people, Spirit said be careful who you share it with. Especially since this is going to be, for some of you, yeah, for a good deal of you, whomever you share it with, okay, your inspirations, your ideas, you're going to share it with a person who is kind of like a mentor figure to you or who you think, oh my gosh, they'll be able to see different aspects of it or they'll have a better insight. This person... <coughs> excuse me this person may very well take your idea as their own so just be prepared for that just be very careful with whom you share your ideas with be very careful with how you word things or who you you trust during the last half of august i'm not telling you not to trust anybody but i am telling you to, to know that you will be inspired you will have great insights into things and make sure that you share those insights when you're around people who know that they came from you instead of somebody being able to say, oh, I had this great idea. And really you're looking at them and you're, and you're like, what the heck? That was my idea. And instead of them going, cancer, you did such a great job. They're going to say, oh, wow, I can't believe, you know, X, Y, Z had this inspiration. The color that shines through here is purple. Healing and cleansing your crown chakra is going to be very beneficial. Then we have empowerment. The determination of your mind and soul will guide you towards unleashing your inner power. You are determined to move forward. You are determined to succeed. You are determined to achieve. And nothing and no one is going to stand in your way. Which is actually going to surprise people. Because you are embracing your personal power so much more during the last half of August. You really are. You're taking your truth, you're taking your power, and you're saying, it's my time. Because it is. And the color that shines through here is green. That's healing and cleansing the heart chakra. Because for some of you, when it comes to your inspiration, when it comes to sharing your ideas, when it comes to even thinking that you could live your dream, that you could go after what it is that you want, right? There is a pain, there is a hurt around your heart that says that you can't. There's something there that's going to act like a blockage. You are getting what it is that you want. Don't think that you know exactly the way that it's supposed to progress, the way that it's supposed to move forward, because here there is a sense of, oh, I love this, zero, one, two. I love that progression. Yeah, because you're not going to know. The way you have it planned in your head, and it's like so many things, the way we have it planned in our heads, that's not how our life progresses. The twists and turns, we can't anticipate it. So there's something here that you are seeing differently, okay? There's something here that's going to be shifting, and that's why you're walking away from one dream to embrace another. We have energy right here. With boundless energy, you can accomplish more than you ever thought possible. And that energy isn't just physical. For some of you, it will manifest in feeling like during the last half of August, you have so much energy. You could just go and go and go. But for a lot more of you, this is going to be spiritual energy around you. It's going to be insights. It's going to be ideas. For some of you, it can be both. But just know here that there's two different ways that the energy can develop. And it's going to be spiritually and it can be physically too. But it doesn't have to be. Then we have simplicity, which I think is so important. Simplifying your life is important. Saying what's important and what's not. Saying what's valuable and what isn't. What are you doing to please you and what are you doing as a status symbol for everybody else? Because if you took out what everybody else wants from the world and you start really focusing on what you want, would your goals, would your ideas, would the way that you're moving forward, would that change? Because for a lot of you it would. And I'm seeing that here in the cards, that you're doing a shift. This says, simplifying your life will bring you a sense of clarity and renewal. Simplifying will also increase that energy right there. 
Six of Swords, you're moving forward. You have the angels blessing you. And as you move forward, I always say this makes me think of going to Avalon, right? You're going to be confident and then you're not going to be confident. You're kind of going to yo-yo between the two of these. Be kind to yourself as you go to this, through this time. It's at your heart. It has to do a lot with your mind. It has to do a lot with the way that you're perceiving things. Within your career, it feels as if there's a battle, but then there's a claiming of a power. So know here that your mind is going to be very important during the last half of August because your perception is going to come in play so much. And I know our lives are only based off of, of our perceptions as human beings, but your, the power of your mind is going to be highly beneficial, highly impactful for the way that you move forward and for the decisions that you're making. Because there's going to be a shift of saying, you know what, I'm done trying to please everybody else, being that people pleaser, being that person who's just like, oh, it just has to be perfect. Yes, you like it when people are happy. You're a cancer. Of course you do. You like it when people are happy. You like it when the harmon harmony is in the room. And you like it when, when you feel as if you've done a service to people, as if you've brought a little bit of joy into their lives. It doesn't have to be a lot, even a little bit. You're like, wow, I helped make that smile. That's awesome. And you go on your merry way. Here, there is a sense of wanting to do that, of needing to do that, because that's part of your personality, but also of saying, I matter too, and seeing things truly for where it is that you want to be, for what it is that you desire within your career, within your finances. A veil is being lifted from your eyes, and you're wanting to move forward. You're ending something that is no longer right for you, right? Within your mind, within your heart, and it doesn't mean that you have to do any other shift than within your mind and your heart. You can still have the same job, you can still do the same thing if you want to. You can change it all up if you want to, too. Make sure you have a job first, I always say, before you go out to get a new one because it's easier to find a job with a job and it's not quite as scary. But know here that you're opening doors for yourself. Know here that passion is leading you forward. And why I say passion is because we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess is Kedwin. She's the great sorceress. You're getting what you want without knowing it. And you're getting what you want, you want after a time of frustration, after a time of disappointment, after a time of thinking, oh my gosh, I'll just never get there. Everybody else gets to live their dreams. Some people get to own jets and some people get to own, you know, yachts and mega mansions. And I don't even get to own my own front yard. You know, I don't even get to own a space of my own. I have 18 million different roommates. You know, that's the kind of frustration that you're feeling right now because you're looking at the world and you're seeing everybody's Instagram and Snapchats and everything like that and thinking, oh, why not me? It's because first of all, everything's filtered. So you're not seeing the real truth. And secondly, it's because you're having the veil lifted from your eyes. You're seeing that once what you were in the rat race for is not going to be what you truly desire right now. Now, is that for everybody? It might not be. If that doesn't resonate with you, then take what resonates and leave the rest or look at your rising sign, your moon sign. But here I'm feeling for a lot of you cancers, you're doing a shift. You're doing a shift to see clearly and seeing clearly where it is that you want to be, how it is that you want to move forward and what it is that you desire. Because again, that veil is being lifted. Insights, truths are coming out that you hadn't thought possible. Not anything tremendous, okay, when it comes to a truth, but, excuse me, just a sense of, just a sense of knowing that it's no more. No more trauma drama, no more chaos. You want to see the heart of people, you want to see the heart of the matter, and you are judging things by your intuition buy what it is that you want. So when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your career, you're going to want to be a bit more generous than you can be, first of all. So be aware of that. You're also going to want to make decisions a little bit quicker than you should. So also be prepared for that. And when you do make decisions, look at your heart, look at what it is that you desire and see if you're feeling harmoni harmonious within the decisions that you're making. See if you're feeling calm and centered. If what you're doing is causing you anxiety, if what you're doing is causing you upset, then reevaluate the situation. Because at your root, you have to take a leap of faith. And I know have to is quite strong to say, but you're needing to take a leap of faith. You have to take a leap of faith towards what it is that your soul desires. But you're having a tendency to look at yourself, Cancer, and you are putting yourself down hard. For a lot of you, Cancers, that's what you're doing. 
If you're not doing that, that's fantastic. Still leap, still go. But for a bunch of you, you are really sitting there and saying, wow, I had this plan. You know, I really wanted to be this. I really wanted to be that. Now I'm too old. I'm too young. I'm too, you know, whatever. Stop. Stop giving a number to what you have to succeed. Stop giving a number to, to your life. This is your life. Right? You want to be, you know, the top whatever under 30. And now you're in your 30s, so that will never happen. Well, then that wasn't part of your plan. And that's okay. Know when you made unrealistic expectations for yourself. And I'm not saying being a top person under 30 is an unrealistic expectation. It's just something that people celebrate because it's rare. Center yourself. Stop looking at what you're perceiving as failures. You know, did you decide to stay home with your, your family? And now you're going into the workforce and you're going, oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, look that you did a job that is so stinking hard that most people give it to other people, you know, say, okay, go to daycare, stuff like that. Because it's hard to stay at home. It's hard to be with a screaming child. All right, so first of all, give yourself kudos. And if you sent your kid to daycare, again, that's absolutely fine. All right, we're just giving kudos to the people who, you know, are now thinking poorly of themselves because they didn't do what everybody else is now saying that they should have done and making them feel bad. Okay, giving a person a compliment does not diminish from what you have done. Now you're building yourself up. See your strengths. They might not be what other people have thought that they should be, but they're not living your life. So tell them to jump off a cliff. And I know because you're a cancer, that's really hard because your emotions rule and you want everybody to be happy, but turn around and look at your own happiness. Turn around and see the two of cups that's waiting for you as you jump forward, because here you're healing, you're setting yourself free. And you're tired of being drained. You're also tired of feeling as if you have to hold on to every penny that you have. Headache, stomach pain, foot pain. Because it's hard to move forward. Because you're counting the pennies. And as you count the pennies, you know, you still have to count the dollars. And then all the change in between. You need to ground yourself. You need to center yourself. There are people draining your energy. Yes. But once you claim your stability of soul, once you sit there and say, I know I am prosperous, even if right now life might not be reflecting that, and I know money is coming in, and then you bless that money, because here what I'm seeing is there's a lack of feeling as if you'll be safe. For a lot of you cancers, you have been through so much that that desire to be safe within your finances is astoundingly strong. And what this line is saying right here is you have the four of pentacles, you have the nine of swords, you have the six of swords, and you have the eight of cups. So you're holding on to things because there's worry, doubt, and fear that that is going to change once you let spirit move you forward. And it's just like, I just, I just smile because it's like, there's such a shift. It's like, oh my gosh, I can't. And then you have those moments of, oh my gosh, I can't. Because again, you have that person in the bottom of the boat saying, oh no, you can't do this. And then you start moving forward. And then you have those moments of inspiration. You have those moments of connection with yourself. You have those moments of blessings coming in. You move forward and you walk away from the fear, from the lack that might have been programmed into you when you were five years old. This can be very much from the way you were raised. I know people might roll their eyes and say, oh no, it doesn't have that big of an impact. But what were your parents' attitude towards money? Did your father yell as he paid the bills? Did your mother yell as she paid the bills? You know, was there not enough money? You know, did the collection agencies call and call and call at night? What happened? Because for a lot of you, that's impacting things. And that's what you're healing from as you set yourself free. You're healing from the pain that you have been through the sorrow, the doubt, and you're worried. There's a trap within your mind that plays that sorrow, that doubt, that fear, and people don't see it. People see you as that person on horseback, riding forward, going after your dreams, going after what you desire. You're upset. Center yourself. If you don't want to talk to somebody, know right here, okay? Because in this triangle, we have at the base, we have the magician and the nine of swords, and we have the high priestess at 
the point. So the high priestess is saying that you're getting what you want, just not in the way that you had envisioned it. You are also having insight, ideas, and inspiration come your way from the divine. You're seeing things more clearly. You're claiming your power. You're knowing your truth. You are standing before the altar of your existence, and you are scared. That's fine. Leap. It will change your career. It will bring prosperity into your home, but first it will wind up changing your career. As above, so below. As you believe it, so it becomes. Embrace the prosperity that you want. Embrace the bounty set before you and move forward in that truth. Take that leap of faith. You're walking away from what is no longer right for you. You're having an illumination into the darkness come. And you're seeing what you were so scared of before. You're seeing what isn't right for your soul anymore. And you're changing the game. And as you change the game, you're going to find that you don't have to fight to stand up. You don't have to fight to get what it is that you want. It's going to come. The people who doubt you, they don't matter. The people who embrace you, who say that you can succeed, who say that you can move forward, those are the people that matter. Know right here that there's a doubt for a lot of you, a lot of you cancers during the last half of August about career, about money, about needing to hold on to things, not having the confidence within yourself. As soon as you start walking away from the negativity, you start claiming your power. Stop looking at all the hardship that you've been through. Let that be your pride. Be like, wow, I made it through this and that. And now I take that leap of faith to move me forward, to be guided towards what it is that I want and where it is that I need to be. That starts bringing in the money. That starts bringing in the success. Yes, you have the bounty then come. It becomes so that you don't have to focus on the money anymore. It's not always a hustle, a hustle, a hustle. You know, one thing, one thing, one thing. Just keep going, just keep going. Because that's what you feel like right now. It's like, ah, it's a manic, like, it's a crazed energy. There's a need to center yourself. Focus on the details. Know that if money is always right forefront in your mind, it won't come. Right? Because your mind will be saying, oh, I don't have enough money. I need to make more money. I don't have enough money. And you know what your mind is hearing? Your mind always hears the form of panic first. I don't have enough money. Because we are programmed from way, 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 way back in evolution. Okay? We are programmed to really focus on what terrifies us. Because we don't want that to happen again. But if you're always living in a state of anxiety when it comes to money, when it comes to a career, when it comes to moving forward, you're just going to perpetuate that. And it's going to start eating away at your happiness. This is you reclaiming your happiness and moving forward in the prosperity that you deserve, that you desire to wrap yourself in warmth and security and move forward to what it is that you want and what it is that you love. You are setting yourself free and you are claiming your path. And it doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter, you know, whether you think you can do this or not. Well, okay, so it does matter whether you can think that you can do this or not. But it doesn't matter if you doubt yourself. It matters that you quiet those doubts. It matters that you focus on your soul. It matters that you look at yourself. And instead of seeing a person of lack, you start seeing a person of bounty. Because then the success comes and you don't need to guard it. You don't need to hold on to it like a life preserver because it's going to start moving you forward and it's going to stop, it's going to start redefining your life. Simplify things, embrace your power and move forward in your prosperity. All right, Cancer, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. Thank you so much for giving this reading a thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and I'll be reading for you all really, really soon. Bye guys.